All right, tomorrow marks exactly one year since George Floyd was murdered by a former Minneapolis police officer. And today, a virtual day of action will be held in honor of Floyd's life. The George Floyd Foundation is calling on people to use their social media platforms to call for justice and help create unity. Over the weekend, hundreds took to the streets in Minneapolis, New York, and Houston, all of them pushing for more change since Floyd's death. Yesterday, attorney Ben Crump, who represented the Floyd family, joined Reverend Al Sharpton during a rally. Sharpton calling Floyd's murder, quote, one of the greatest disgraces in American history. He says convicting Chauvin just is not enough and wants federal legislation. Chauvin, who was found guilty on all charges last month, will be sentenced on June 25th. Three other officers have also been indicted on charges connected to Floyd's death. Their state trial has been delayed until March of next year. And tomorrow, the Floyd family will head to the White House to meet with President Joe Biden as Congress struggles to pass police reform laws and the House passed the George Floyd Justice Policing Act in March. The bill seeks to ban chokeholds, no-knock warrants, as well as put a stop to qualified immunity. In order for the bill to pass, at least 10 state Republicans need to support it. However, that may be difficult, given that some of them say they're concerned ending qualified immunity could make officers and law enforcement vulnerable to more lawsuits. But we'll keep you posted. Chesley, going to cost with